all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol sndl sundial growers inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart but as we jump into this chart i do want to announce to everyone last week i launched my website if you haven't had a chance to check it out i will put the link down below and through that link you'll have access to the website and you can go ahead and see the forums and the members options it's completely optional and i want to say thank you to all of you guys that have joined and thank you for those of you that have stopped by you're more than welcome to go ahead and check it out i'm going to put the link down below but back into sundial let's see here what sndl stock has for us today so it ran up it hit highs of almost a dollar and then it's been falling since right so i want us to remember a little bit of recap of how this has been reacting in the last two months so here we are in december and way back in October, towards the beginning, it ran up and it was falling to hit newer lows. It hit newer lows of almost 13 cents. And from that point forward, towards the end of October, leaning towards obviously November 3rd, it started to pick up. It started to look like there was a candidate that was winning more than the other. And it started to run up, right? And the reason why I state that, and this is not to talk about politics, this stock has been driven by the results of the obviously the whole entire presidential elect right an election and you can see that that it ran up all the way to almost 65 cents towards the ninth and from that point forward it started to fall when trump started putting pressure on the fact that he wanted recounts and he was going to put legal acts and pressure and it was all fraud according to his uh, facts or opinions, uh, however it is that he feels. And again, I'm not here to talk about politics. I want us to think for a second about this stock and what, what's been driving it. It started to make it go downwards. Now, this was the date that I did the video and there was no news. And not only this stock in this particular sector was going up. There was multiple ones, but nobody was sharing any news. There was nothing. The only news that indirectly correlated to these stocks was the fact that Trump said, okay, I'm going to allow a transition, like almost admitting that whether it was fraud or no fraud, he has less obviously electoral votes or, or votes in general and the popular vote and the electoral votes right now, Biden is winning. He was going to continue his legal actions. I talked about it in that video. Again, not talking about politics, but from that point forward, it started to run up, it fell again, and then it just continued to rise towards the hopes of the House passing the Moores Act. So, the Moores Act literally passes, but it's symbolic, they say, and so forth. But we have something here. We have something here that people aren't realizing. The Senate has to pass it now. So, yes, it passed in the House, right? That's really good news. But now it has to pass in the Senate from my understanding. So it's going to be very, very important. Yeah, you could see that while there are some potential, it will be included as part of the various COVID-19 stimulus considerations that the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell took the opportunity to criticize the House for focusing on cannabis legislation during a pandemic. So there's a little bit of a, you know, conflict there with the House and then now the Senate. And they're trying to kind of like just wiggle it in and make it just kind of pass through with the whole entire thing. We're going to see what's going to happen. But the Senate has to pass this now. This has to kind of get passed through. The House passed it. That's one step closer but the Senate will literally approve that this is moving forward. So we're going to have to figure that out. So you can see the sentiment going down. Every time it's something leaning towards Democrats, this is ran up or looking like it's leaning towards Democrats. And in the House, it passed and it was holding itself up in hopes that it did. And now, supposedly, I haven't done my research, but I've heard it. And if anybody wants to correct me, you're more than welcome to. The Senate is Republican majority. I, I, I'm not sure if, if I'm correct there. I think I think I am. 
And the fact that it is, it's making it pretty difficult to believe that this is finally going to go through completely. It's made it halfway there or two thirds of the journey. Now it needs to finish it. So the sentiment of investors is, oh, it might not happen. This was all it was. So there might be slightly a correction or also uncertainty and fear and saying, hey, I'm clocking out. I'll take whatever profits or slight losses that I'm having right now because this is probably going to go lower until there's finally some type of clarity. Right now, things are in a gray area. Yes, it's great news that the Morzak did pass in the House. Now it needs to go ahead and get passed in the Senate. That's the next step, I believe. And if anyone wants to correct me or agree with me or find any article or something that you want to share that's important for other investors to be aware of, you're more than welcome to comment down below. And like I said, correct me or share and piggyback off of what I'm saying. So enough about talking about the parties and the House and the Senate. Let's jump in here on this chart. The reason why I had to talk about all of that, and I don't really like discussing too much about politics um, when it comes to uh, a chart or a specific ticker symbol because it could be very controversial but this stock has been driven directly and indirectly by decisions going on in politics some some way shape or form but like i said let's jump into this chart and see here what's going on so the 50-day moving average is 63.97 we need to write that down that's super important we're below that right now 63.97 now support was broken through it was 65.21 and we hit newer lows today and i had stated yesterday that if it broke through these lows here of around 58.37 this was going to see newer lows and it certainly did it broke through them and we went even lower now let's go ahead and see here our new resistance level based off the last couple hours of the day and then also i want us to look at a support level that's going to be very important moving forward so we have here at 5205 where we stand the next support level if it breaks through the support we're currently about to look at is 4591 if you want to round that up to 46 cents you're more than welcome to now you write that down and keep that number in mind if it breaks through that this is getting way deeper into bearish territory pulling further away from the 50 day moving average and working its way down to newer lows so very important to keep that number in mind 46 cents if you want to round it up it's like 45.91 but round it up to 46 cents if that gets broken through i'd watch this very closely and how quickly is it going down super super important but let's look at the most important numbers directly for tomorrow that 46 cent range is important for the near term or the long term depending on the volatility so i'd keep that number in mind for the next coming days or rest of the week or weeks to come okay so here we are with 5205 and our support is 5012 if that gets broken through I'd pay very close attention to this stock. We're already in bearish territory. And that just means that this is going down to newer lows, newer support levels, and pulling further away from the 50-day moving average. So super important for all bulls and every single investor to pay close attention to this. Now, 5012, if it gets broken through, it does not mean that the bears have won and destroyed the chart. They're right now maintaining control on the chart, but the bulls can still reappear and take advantage of the price but if it does get broken through pay very close attention to the behavior how quickly is it moving to newer lows and watch the behavior between 50 12 and 46 cents and how quickly is it moving down or are the bulls trying to reappear now on the other spectrum of things which is what the bulls want this is our resistance and that's 57 57 if that gets broken through this could be on its way up to newer highs but I want every single investor to be aware of the fact that 5757 does not signify that the bulls have gained control. This does not mean that the bulls are guaranteed to get above the 50 day moving average, right, at 6397 and back into bullish territory. This is just the beginning catalyst 
to go ahead and turn that into a support and start to pull themselves up to newer resistance levels and newer highs. Now, 57.57 is also an indicator for us investors to know where this is heading. If it breaks through this, we know it's been building some momentum in the upward direction. And if 57.57 gets turned into a support, it can pull away from it to reach newer highs. So I'm going to draw that right there so you can see and build that staircase momentum effect. So it's going to be very important to pay close attention to it, but it does not signify that the bulls have gained control and that they're guaranteed back into bullish territory. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.